Honeymoon, Honey Murder is the penultimate Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries and I'm kind of sad, in fact I'm devastated that I've only got one more film left. I've absolutely adored these and this one is pretty good. This one was released in 2021, it's directed by Martin Wood and stars of course Candace Cameron Bure as Aurora. Well, not Aurora Tea Garden now is she, she is uh, Aurora Miller. For continuity's sake, I'm probably going to keep referring to her as Aurora Tea Garden, as the series does, of course. And in this one, they're having a pre-honeymoon, because they're supposed to be going out to Paris, but there are problems with the flights that are being delayed by a few days, so they end up going to this little cabin. And while they're there, in true Aurora fashion, they're out on a boat, and they find a body. And then we have the mystery of who this is, how the body got there, and of course, who is responsible for the death of this person. And I don't want to say too much about this. I don't want to give away very much, but I will say that it's very unpredictable. And I had the the smallest thought that the suspect was one person. And then I dismissed it and thought, no, I don't, I don't believe that. And then about 10 minutes before the end, I thought, I know who it is. I'm 99% confident it's this person, and it wasn't. I was completely wrong, and I like that. I love that. I love the element of surprise. I love not being able to work it out until the reveal, and it's quite dramatic. The actual development of the narrative isn't that dramatic, by which I mean there are not that many shocking reveals or surprise finds or anything. It's a pretty steady, I wouldn't say slow pace, but it certainly doesn't have that many twists or shocking moments, except one. There is one moment that genuinely made me jump. And Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries don't really rely on jump scares. That's not something that they, they focus too much on, but it made me jump. But I will explain that moment with a spoiler warning in a little bit, as I obviously don't want to well, I don't want to alert you to when it is unless you've already seen the film. But I, I rather enjoyed it. It is a bit sickly sweet. And this is coming from somebody who's watched over 500 Hallmark and Hallmark-esque rom-coms. Even for me, Nick is very sickly, sweetly in love with Aurora. And sometimes it's a little bit much and definitely a little bit unbelievable. But maybe I'm cynical. Other than that, though, the actual mystery is, is really entertaining. And they, they found a pretty clever way of incorporating most of the main characters. Because obviously they're on their honeymoon. They're not at home. They're not interacting with people as they normally would. But actually, they managed to do it in a way that, that worked quite well. And I, I rather enjoyed it. I will also tell you in a moment who I was 99% sure was responsible. I was wrong, so I can tell you. I won't actually tell you who was responsible, though, because I want that to be a surprise. But as the penultimate film, I rather enjoyed it. I did wonder how they would do a, a honeymoon film. I assumed it was about their honeymoon, based on the title, but keeping the, the cast there. But obviously having them having to have a pre-honeymoon before they could actually get away, made perfect sense. My other guess, or my main guess, was that they would have just come back from their honeymoon and stumbled upon a murder. But this one works probably better, in fact, because it gives us a, a different, slightly different location as well to just mix things up just a little bit. I enjoyed it. Definitely a mystery. I think we could have done with a couple more suspects. That's not to say that that meant I worked it out, because I didn't. But I think a couple more suspects or, or maybe a couple of more leads could have made it just a little bit more interesting. But I liked it still. I thought it was pretty decent. And I will now, with a spoiler warning, tell you the jump scare moment and also who I thought the suspect was. So I won't tell you who did do it, but I will tell you who didn't do it. So big, big spoilers from now. And the moment that really, really made me jump is when Nick said, I want to remember this moment forever. And then the guns fired and there's this big bang and they jump and I jumped and it was very powerful, very well done. And with regards to who I thought it was, I I didn't even entertain this person as a suspect until about 10 minutes before the end. And then I just thought, it's got to be him. It's got to be, it's got to be the son. 
And the reason that I thought it was him is because he was in it quite a bit, such as with the, the car and the, the, the um, flat tire and then at the university, but without ever having the finger pointed at him. And that's often an indication that a person is guilty because that's how they often, I, I don't mean specifically with Aurora Tea Garden, but with mysteries in general, often the culprit is somebody who features quite a lot, but they're never the prominent suspect because that's how the element of surprise happens. And I just thought that's the treatment of this character. And he has this great motive, so it must be him. And then that's why the gun was being planted to fake frame somebody, his mother, of course, and take the heat away from him. And I was so, so, so confident. And then about two minutes later, I was told that I was wrong. So don't trust anything I say ever. Oh, and we had some lovely, lovely moments between Lynn and Aurora. Lovely moments between Lynn and Aurora. So all things considered, I'm very happy. I didn't know what to expect or how they were going to do this narrative, but it all worked very well. Honeymoon, Honey Murder is a really good film.